So your protractor is missing or maybe you don't have one but you need one. And so there's a way out. All you need is a device like a computer or a laptop and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So what we need to do first is we need to go to Google and we are going to search protractors. Right. Now, ideally, we need a transparent protractor, but there's a way out if you can't find one. Now, I have searched for PNG images and it's not always possible to find one, but I'm just going to choose this one. So you right click, you say save image as and then I'll call it protractor. I have also saved a few others, but that's fine. I'm going to save it in my documents folder. And then you just need an application like Google Slides or PowerPoint. Right. So what you do next, you say insert image upload from computer. I saved it in my documents folder and I called it protractor. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but it looks like this one. So I'm going to say upload and now you have a protractor. Now, if this one is not transparent, there's a way out. So this one isn't transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to send it to back. And you see now you can see these dots and letters and things. So if you have a worksheet that you need to complete, then you can scan it or maybe take a photo and also insert it into the application the same way I did with the protractor and then you can still do your work. Now I'm going to explain just briefly how you can measure a bearing. I've also posted a video on how to measure a bearing by using a physical protractor. The link is in the description below, so feel free to go and watch that video if you need a more detailed explanation. Right, so firstly, we need to draw a vertical line upon point A. So we are going to go from point A to point B. In other words, we're going to measure the bearing between point A and point B, and point A is our starting point. So we're going to draw that vertical line, and usually it jumps around a bit, but that's fine. And I've also posted a video on the three different norths and I explain in that video why grid north is good enough for navigation purposes. But anyway, so you need to draw your vertical line and please do it as accurately as possible. That's your step number one. The next step is to connect point A with point B. And so we are going to do that. It's going to jump around a little bit, but we can move it to exactly the right spot. What is very useful is to draw the line a lot longer than it's supposed to be. So if I only make it this short, for example, and my protractor is quite big, you'll notice that it's not so easy to find the right answer. And I'll show you why. So if the line is this short, I place the protractor you can see that it's kind of difficult to, to find the answer, right? So let me show you what to do. We're simply going to extend this line. Now it will be a lot easier, right? So there we have step one and step two done. Then we need to place the protractor properly. If we don't place it properly, we can't uh, get to the right answer. So that point there where all those lines intersect that is where you're going to place the protractor exactly on point a very important there it is right so you can see where those lines intersect it it is exactly on point a and then the vertical line must exactly be on that line that points to 0 and 108 next thing that is very important we always start at north at 0 right so we are not going to start at 180. We start at zero and we go clockwise. Now that we know what to do, we're going to count 10, 20, 30, 40. There's 45. It is 46 degrees. But please remember when you measure a bearing and when you write down your answer, it should always be a three digit number. So it's going to be zero, four, six degrees. So that is in a nutshell how to measure a bearing. So that is how simple it is. I hope that this video helped. You can also go and, like I said, watch my other video on how to measure a bearing with a physical protractor. 
And then there's also a video I've posted on magnetic bearing and magnetic declination and also the three different norths. All the links are in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, like, share and comment. See you next time. Goodbye.